This tiny computer is a Raspberry Pi. It's made for schools and loved by makers. And more specifically, this is the Raspberry Pi 5, which was released a few months ago. Now, this version is an eight gigabyte of RAM model, costs just 80 pounds in the UK or $80 in the US, if you're lucky enough to be able to get hold of one. So this tiny computer can be used for many things, but specifically in this video, I wanna show you how you can use that eight gigabyte of RAM for running an open source large language model on your own network and what sort of benchmarks we can get versus say something like the MacBook Pro that I've used Alarma on in the past. So with that all said, let's get started. So I'm on my Pi 5, um, I'm going to try and install a Llama on this and see how it goes. I should be able to run the Llama instructions and just see how they pan out. So if we just copy that curl commands and uh, paste that, see how that does. Okay, cool. So that seems to have just gone in and installed straight away. So if you're not familiar with Alama, you can go and pick up any of these models that it's got listed here. So we've got Mixtral, we've got uh, Llama 2, Tiny Llama, Code Llama. Um, I'm just going to try and run Tiny Llama at this point. We can just run Tiny Llama and it'll pull down that model. So let's see how we do. I've never run Tiny Llama before, so this is going to be a new one for me. So I'm running Raspbian, as you can see, and I've updated everything, installed all the uh, latest packages, and I haven't installed anything else. I literally just installed Alarma there. Okay, cool. So it's pulled down everything. Let's have a question. Classic, why is the sky blue? See how that does. The sky blue is a natural color. Why is the sky blue? Oh, that's, that's interesting the way it's phrased that. I'm guessing this is just basically down because it's a tiny llama, which is not as big model as other options. Okay, so it's actually worked, which is superb. So I'm actually pretty surprised that that got installed so quickly and was so easy. Um, I'm gonna try out a few things. The fan did kick in on the um, heat sink there when I was trying things. So it is obviously uh, using the CPU a bit be interesting to know when we do this and um, so we can run this uh, verbose commands so if I do llama run tiny llama dash dash verbose I think it is uh, then when we do why do the same thing we should get some stats out in terms of how fast it's generating those responses now, when I was doing this on my M1 Pro on uh, Llama, not Tiny Llama, we're getting about 22 a second, I think. And on my M1, I think it was like 17 or something like that. So eval rate, 12.9 tokens a second. That is not bad. That's prompt eval rate. Right? So the eval rate is 10 tokens. So roughly half what I was getting on the M1 Pro, which is not too shabby. We could actually do a fairly a better comparison if we pull down the other model. So if I say buy and come out and then do a llama run llama two. I'm actually going to pull down the uncensored one because um, llama two is pretty restrictive. <laughs> it's pretty. Um, aggressive with its, the restrictions it applies so you could ask for a, a really spicy sauce or I think in my other video I asked for a regex for in Python and it it wouldn't give me the answer to those regexes because um, it felt that they were inappropriate and that I might be trying to do nefarious things with them. So this is saying it's going to take about 10 minutes so that's obviously a 4 gig model now. I'll just wait a sec and let that pull that down. Okay, cool, that's all finished downloading. As well as the Llama 2 Uncensored model, I've pulled down uh, Lava as well, because I wanted to check out if it can do, um, how well it copes with doing it, uh, image kind of interpretations. So let's first do a Llama, let's run the Llama 2 Uncensored and see how that fares. And in fact, actually, let's, uh, let's, let's do that with the verbose command again. So 
So I'm going to prompt it with, can you write a regular expression to match email addresses? addresses? Um, so in previous video when I did this, it actually, this is the reason for using uh, the uncensored version because then this doesn't get caught. Like I said, things is a little overzealous for stuff and that generally is to do with the initial system prompt. You can see that this is much slower than the tiny llama that we were running. Okay, so it's doing it in uh, JavaScript. I didn't actually specify that one in Python, but there we go. That's fine. I have no idea if that's going to match any more address. Well, wow, this is yeah, this is this is really slow in comparison. So you probably want to be using one of those smaller models. So yeah, this is the 7 billion parameter model. I didn't state that, but it, it says on the uh, Llama website under the uncensored, the um, Llama 2 model that the memory requirements are that 7 billion parameter models require generally 8 gig RAM, which we've got here, but you can see that it's not it's not fast. Okay, yeah, so you can see there we've got an EVAR rate of 1.78, so tiny in comparison to what we had just now with the... Um, tiny llama so obviously the model is that much more bigger is double size uh, we've gone from 1.78 to 3.78 um, I think that's a 3 billion parameter model let me have a squiz at the website in fact actually no it's a 1.1 billion parameter model which is obviously a lot smaller we're going from 1.1 billion to 7 billion and we are getting much slower at eval rate so this is probably not the way you want to go you probably want to be using something like mistral on this or in fact tiny llama is a good option there because we seem to be going pretty fast i'm going to try this um image as well so i download this image into downloads it is a picture of the Raspberry Pi. Let me see if I can get it to understand that because that would be pretty awesome to know that it can do that as well. So let's run Lava and we're going to run that verbose as well. Man, I've got an absolute tweet storm going on in a tree in my garden. This happens all the time. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's in this picture. Home in downloads image .jpg. I think that's what it was called. Okay, let's go. Wow, this is <laughs> this is slow, and you've got no feedback. Um, is the only is the other thing here? We're not seeing anything aside from the spinny snaked, and it's finally responding with an answer. Here we go. <laughs> the image features a close-up of the back of a computer circuit board. It's green and yellow compute board has many screws on it, attaching various components. A detailed view showcases the inner workings of electronic devices such as laptops or computers. So it's obviously looked at that image and it understands it and it's done all that locally, which is really impressive. It's not gone out to a third party service in order to do that. It hasn't been able to pick anything out from the image file name because I've made sure that it's not identifiable from what I've uh, named the file. So that's really impressive, but it's incredibly slow. It took, how long did that take? Total duration, five minutes, 33. So a long time. We've obviously got all of the features that um, Alama has as well, such as the API stuff. You can go and check my previous videos if you want to see how to do that. But yeah, I hope you found this useful. Uh, let me know if you're going to be uh, trying it out on your own Raspberry Pi. I'll speak to you soon in a new video and check out one of my other videos on Alama. There'll be one popping up in a minute probably. Okay, bye for now. Bye.